We are live. Hello, everybody. We're live. Oh, we're Woo-hoo. live on Tuesday. I wonder if anybody will come, Javi. What do you think? I don't know. We're going to just have to see. Well, if nobody comes, you know, the video's here. And well, can, that's right. I'll It'll still be there, it. and we'll remind them, and they could come see us. The only bad thing is, is um, <clears throat> excuse me, I was going to do a drawing today. Oh. So we got to have people here to do a drawing. So. Yeah. True. Hopefully some will show up. I did tell them on the group, and I did have it in the newsletter the other day. But, you know, it's a busy time of year. People got stuff to do, and I understand that. We had a um, really crazy morning here ourselves, didn't yes, we? Yes, we did. Oh. <laughs> Yesterday, John and I decided to go out and look for some furniture, which I badly needed. Hey, here's here's Andrea. Andrea's here. Hey, Andrea showed up. Thank you for coming. Um, so we really needed this furniture bag because our stuff was wrecked, and I just I've just been so busy taking care of business. I just didn't care for a while. So I'd saved my stimulus check up so I could get. It. So we finally went out because I was going to buy a recliner too for John, and I didn't want to do that without him being there. You know to try it on that. I want to get rid of his Archie Bunker chair, if you know what I mean. So we went, we went out to uh, look for some stuff. And so I had no problem picking something out. Neither did he. So they said they delivered today, the very next day. I'm like, oh man, I don't know how this is going. Well, our door's getting into our house. You know, this is an older home. Hi, Michelle. So nice you could come. Um, so we had quite a, a lot of wiggling to get that stuff in here, but nothing got broke, nothing got damaged. Everything went okay. Javi, bless her heart, she was just scurrying around, cleaning everything up and getting it fixed up to look nice, and now it's over. Hey, Joan, I'm so glad to see you. Joan Donovan's with us today. That's awesome. And here's Dara. Dara, did you get out of school? <laughs> I'll probably always ask you that from now on. Dara, did you get out of school? <laughs> Aren't you supposed to be in school? Dara's a school teacher. That's so, still pretty cool. So, you know what? She might be She might be off because it's Thanksgiving week. Yeah. She might be <laughs> off. Well, some of them I heard that, like, I heard from some of the younger ones. They're like, oh, we have Wednesday to Tuesday off. I'm like, whoa. Oh, wow. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Well, we decided to do another one today, another live one today, because we didn't see any point doing Friday. Everybody's going to have probably visitors, and she says, I did, I got this. <laughs> um, they're going to probably have visitors and stuff going on at their home, and, you know, grandchildren coming and all that. So they're not going to want to be on here, and that's okay. That's Locked fine. Door, they can still so, watch it. Um, Javi is going to have a video for you yeah. come out at 6 o'clock on Friday. And it's going to be another one of her resin videos. So uh, you can look forward to seeing that. That's not going to be live. So, you know, you can watch that whenever, you know, no yeah. drawings or anything. <laughs> it's just Javi doing her video. She's got some cute things to show you. So it would be great. She had to work yesterday and today, but she got out already. Well, that's, that's good. That's good. <laughs> so anyhow... Um, she will have something for you on Friday. And then next weekend, we have the new box. The <gasps> next box is Woo-hoo! coming out. So, you know, I had thought, when we do another one Tuesday, and I'm like, no, I got to get those boxes ready. It's a lot of work to put those boxes together, guys. Yes, it is. It takes days. So, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it did take it. So, I'm starting tomorrow, I have to get everything <laughs> out like we... and see what all I have. And if I'm missing anything, I can get it pretty quick. And, you know, go ahead and yeah. have them. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, I'm kind of worse. But then I am most of the time anyway. <laughs> you just need to breathe. So, anyway, I'm going to do easy peasy, double layer, double hung, however you want to call it, um, necklace today. This one's finished, of course. I just finished it. I had something laying on my uh, work desk last week. You might have spied this part. It was already done, which I just took uh, a piece of 20 gauge wire, looped on one end, and just put my beads on in a pleasing pattern, and then looped the other end. And that's all there is to that. Simple as could be. So I had that. But then, what I could have done... Oh, Debbie's here! Hi, Debbie! 
has this? Who, who says you got this, PC Boutiques? Oh, that's me. I just put it in a little emoji. <laughs> <laughs> Javi's trying to fake me out. So anyway, <laughs> Debbie, I'm glad you came, honey. I'm so glad. So anyway, so what you have to do is you have to find a space on here to make it hang down. To find mm -hmm. where you can put uh, a jump ring that will fit and will not bump into something else so it hangs weird. That kind of thing. So we'll talk about that. Now, another way you could do this, and I think we may have done it before, is you could take a piece and hang it from here. Yeah. You know, maybe just for the hay of it, we'll do that. I have a question. I don't know if I'll look right, but we'll try. What? I have a question. What? How did you hang this here? Well, that's what I was talking to you about. Where's my pointer? <laughs> No, that's why he's. Did you, take, did you take my pointer? I had no. my tools sitting oh, you mean, they're there. right here. She sorry. Can, okay, I did take it. That's all right. She just had to move them over. Okay, so what I did, I really need this one right now. You probably can see it better. You can see it on the, on the white cutter. Um, okay, so what I did is I found a place on here where I could put big jump rings. They look like they're maybe 10 millimeter. Oh, I They're see. at least eight, anyway. At least eight. I didn't measure them. Hey, Cindy Peterson. She's home to watch. She's Hi, not Cindy. at the boutique today. Glad you came. Yeah. So I found a place where it would go on. Now, this is kind of narrow here. Now, if I had thought, which I didn't, because when I made this, I didn't intend to do this, I would have strung this on there when I made this part. But I kind of like it because it's different. Well, yeah, but I mean, I could have had these on here already and not oh, had to, I had I to go over this and get them in. And I, um, I wrecked a couple of jump rings because they kind of got racked from trying to, you know, get fit on there nice. Yeah. So anyway, but yeah, I've got big jumps on there. And um, I, don't look, I don't know, they might just be eights. But anyway, they're big. So you wouldn't have to worry about that so much if you had just threaded it on already. Okay, so then what I did is I measured how long I wanted this to hang down, and I made a little, you know, segment, stacked segment, and then I put this on. And all this is, is I did these when I was um, making stuff for the box, but I didn't go any further because I had enough to show you. But what I did is I took a really long head pin. I think this is a four inch maybe. We do have some four inches. I think they're on the site. It should be. I'll look. We have three or four or whatever. But anyhow, so I got along. You could do this with just a piece of wire too, but I had this head pin. So I put it on a head pin and in that box you had long head pins if you noticed. There was mm -hmm. probably about ten in each box. So anyway, I put this on a head pin. Just made myself a little pleasing pattern of beads. Okay. And then what I intended to do was I was going to bend it a little bit. And then I was going to roll the ends, cut and roll the ends and roll it into, you know, a loop. And then connect. And then just put maybe some leather on it or some simple chain or whatever. Just make a simple little necklace. Maybe, you know, maybe younger people would like to wear it. Maybe you'd like to wear it. Maybe you like, I would like stuff like that layered, you know, but it doesn't have to be all in one piece either. So, but that's what I was going to do. Hi, so Karen. I had this done. Oh, Karen's here. Hey, that's Hi. really nice to see you. So that's what I did with this. Only I was smart. And I did string on a jump as I went along because oh. it would have been easy to get over, would have been hard, not easy, to get over big round beads like this. You would have had to have a That's super true. big jump and it wouldn't look right. This was way is nice and tight. And then I made a drop with it. So I got a double layer. But this is how it started. I just took it on a, just did it on a head pin, you know, and then I would cut this off and loop it. So... So I took the other one that I made and I put it on the bottom because it's all the same family of beads, you know. And then I beaded some up the side, as you can see. Yeah, it was really pretty. And I, I did, you know, I did want to go farther, but I ran out of time, being honest. And the thing is, too, about necklaces like these, I might even shorten this one a little bit. It's not too long. Let's see how long it's. I just kind of eyeballed it. Dara says minute. those long head pins are awesome. <laughs> Aren't they? I love them because you can wrap with them and they're like sure. a controlled size, you know. So you can you can wrap with You know what else you can do with them? You can make ear wires with them. 
That's true. so nice and You're long. right. Because you got your loop Ooh, already. You should always teach him how to do that. Yeah, I think I did once, didn't I? You know, I could do it again, though. I don't know. I'll have to look. If I, if I do, do it, I do know that on our website, there is a tutorial by Francesca Watson. That's true. On how to do it. But I think I did it on a video one time, too. Mm. Anyway, yeah. so this is about so 18 inches long this way. And then you've got going across here. So that is about inches. three across, maybe. Maybe a little less because this is bent. So let's say it's 20 inches around the neck with this part on it. Okay. So... Um, I don't know myself when I put it on because I've got the drop on it. It was hanging just a little long. So I might take and reduce it to about here. And it'll be more like an 18 inch around the neck, something like that. Or you could reduce it and then put an extender on one side in case you want, like sometimes for it to be longer, whatever, like that. So. Anyway, but now normally I would go all the way up, but you know, I started to say, is it really worth it? It looks good aesthetically when you take a picture of it to sell it, but how many beads do you see? Unless you have really short hair, then you would see it all around the back. But I have longer hair now, and even when I didn't have as long hair, you just didn't really see it. You know, it'd go up under a collar or whatever. So this would really be the only part that would show anyway. So save you a little time, save you a few beads, and you wouldn't, wouldn't have to do as much work. Although I probably will end up going ahead and beating up the rest of it <laughs> just because there's so much going on down here. And that's another thing you want to keep it in, uh, hey, Rose. in mind. Hey, Rose, it's good to see ya. Another thing you want to keep in mind when you're designing is, you know, you want to have balance and flow. So I'm all in one color family. I, I certainly have multicolors going on here, but I'm all in basically one color family that bounces from the mixed impression Jasper pieces, this, this, and this. And then I've got, these are mixed impression too, which is my favorite stone. But everything bounces off that and works out really nice with the, the brass ox findings. Boy, I wish I wasn't so hoarse. Maybe I'll take a drink. I'll just have a drink. Want to have a drink with me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe that's a little bit better. Okay, so that's, you know, pretty much how I made that. So I thought maybe I would take a couple other little things and kind of string them up together to give you some more ideas of what, you know, you could do with yours. But I like how this came out. And this is pretty much all stuff that was in the box. I mean, a few of the beads weren't, but a lot of them oh. were. All the beads down here were in the box. These, there was one of these, I think. Do you get in those box. in the box, these little ones? These little ones didn't, no, no, those weren't in what the box. What are these? They're just, they're this. Oh. Little circlet. That's pretty cool. I don't have them on the website because I bought one small package to check them. Got it. So the next time I order from that place, I will get them. I do have some coming in brass ox. Ooh. I have, I have a big stampings order. In. Debbie loves it. Well, yeah. I would say, Debbie, this style is you. I, I <laughs> totally see you doing this kind of style. Oh, and yes... For those of you that may not have seen it yet, we now have at the website, thank you, Michelle, um, we now have at, web, at the website something called Gallery of Inspiration. My old website, we used to have it. Um, and then we had it at Pinterest. Well, I still do. At Pinterest, that's a big board. If you guys ever want to take a walk down memory lane, go to the boards for Bisu Boutiques and look for the Gallery of Inspiration. There are hundreds maybe thousands hey Jeanette so glad you came yeah it is bohemian vibe I love that I love the, the kind yeah. of a gypsy funky look personally but if I'm not wearing that I'll take Chanel <laughs> <laughs> I would but the only thing I can do is Chanel looks and I have done that I, I love gold crystal and pearl love 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 it I got a necklace 
and a bracelet that I just could not bear to sell, and I wear them. I love them. I have to share them with you sometime. What color is it? Gold and pearl and crystal. Oh, yeah. That's a nice And color. it has one of those great big lobster claws in the middle. It has the... Oh, that does help. The, the <laughs> little stones in it that we have oh, on this yeah. side. So anyway, so this is basically pretty easy to do, you know. But you're, I'm going 18 inches here to here. Well, it's nine on each side. Then this is about three or so going across, something like that. And then this is maybe, well, let's just tell you for sure instead of guess, how's that? Um, this piece is about an inch. This little one here, about an inch. And then this one, let's straighten it out and we'll tell you how long it is. That's one thing you can do. This is malleable. Okay, it's just a little under two. Okay, for that, so I'll bend it back into shape. Isn't that cool how you can do that? I think so. And then we'll find out how long this is, really. Cindy said, I'm glad you're measuring. Always look, looks Yeah, <laughs> you know, I I kind of fast and lose sometimes. Like well, That's why I say I'm not the world's best teacher, because I have to think about these. Ah, did I tell them enough? Of course, <laughs> you guys have been good teachers to me about that, because you'll say, hey, you left this out. So this is three and a half inches long across but when you bend it into an arc as you can see that was easy wasn't it so now it reduces down to about two and a half hey. but it's really three and a half wait how did you bend it like that my fingers <laughs> that's pretty funny like this i didn't know you could still I do that, that even after. yeah it's not work hardened so huh, you know. that's cool now when you get hammered when you get hammered <laughs> i'm pretty hammered today when you hammer on wire, then you do what they call work hardening to it, and then you can't it, you can't really bend it like that. But that's very easy. Just take it like this. Like <laughs> okay, let's see what Jeanette says. Here she says, "Can you demonstrate how to separate the chain link? Always have difficulty lining them back up perfectly at, after closing the link. You mean um, you want me to take this out and show you how to put it in? I can do that." Oh, I see. I think, yeah, I think yeah, that's that what she. Sense. I think that's what she wants. Sure. Yeah, if you always use the bigger link of the chain, right? It's yeah, this easier. is this is a uh, some Figaro chain that was in the box. So yeah. Now these jumps I used <laughs> are not the ones I put in your box. The ones in your box are the really good ones. These are iron. I tried them out. <clears throat> I don't mind them. I kind of like them in some ways, but you can see what happens. Iron sticks to stuff. Oh. So, you know, you got that. I remember Harry Wood said one time, that's what I don't like about them. They stick to everything. I don't, I don't care about that so much. But anyway, so, but they, and they're strong. They're good, you know, just like the other ones but that I carry that everybody loves. But they're just a little harder to get closed. And I'm going to show you. I like to buy these boxes of them like this. Maybe you've seen these before. I don't, I've never had any at the site yet because I'm just not sure if I wanted to do this or not because our other other jumps are so good. Yeah. And I didn't want to seduce you into something cheap if it really wasn't worth it for you. <clears throat> I think it is. It's just not quite as good as our other jumps. I mean, quality-wise, like for holding up, it's going to hold up. Not a problem. And it matches nice. The plating's good. But... Um, they just they stick to your pliers. <laughs> and then you have a little trouble lining them up sometimes, and I'll show you that. Let's see what Jeanette says. Woohoo, let's get him. Yeah, Debbie, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> and Jeanette said, that'd be great. So that's what she wanted. Okay, so I took this out, and what I did is I made three links. This little one, just two caps and a bead in the middle, two caps and a bead. And then I put this one, a little string of beads here. Okay, so I just made them, you know, and then I hooked them together, and now I'm going to put them back into the necklace. So hopefully that'll be okay for today. Now here's one thing I want to tell you too. This is what I did when I started this out. I wasn't sure that I was going to do um, this much bead. I thought maybe I'd just put chain on it, but the more I looked at it, I had all this stuff going on down here, and then just pure plain chain. There's nothing wrong with that. But to me, it's like something's missing. You know what I mean? 
something's missing here. I didn't carry my design far enough up. So I decided to insert something. So this was all chain at first. So what I had to do is I had to figure out how much chain to take out. Because if I hadn't taken the chain, or if I just cut it once and then inserted this, it would have been like way long, way, way, way too long. So anyway, so I made this. And this little triple section here is a little bit over three inches. So it was just about right. Okay, so unless, unless you want to get your necklace a lot longer, when you go to insert stuff like this, you have to take some out. You have to remove some chain. So that's what I did. <clears throat> so I'm going to get two more jumps and put this in because my feeling is this might have stressed them too much. So anyway... Yeah, the, the ones I carry usually hold their shape a little bit better. And that is because they are steel. And I was always totally against steel anything. Oh, before I go on, Jeanette, you saw how I opened that? Let me do it again. So she has, just went right past it. She might not have seen it. <coughs> Excuse me. These are my Wolfie pliers, which I have not been able to get back in stock. I'm going to call them again tomorrow and see if I can get them. Um, love these. <coughs> my favorites. We try to have them on the site, but I haven't for a while because I haven't been able to get them. It works that way. So I'm just going to put this through here. And then I have a short little piece of Figaro left that I left on there. Do you make sure it's lined up before you do <coughs> You add it on there? Well, I already know because I, I measure, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Okay. I was thinking, like, even just facing the right way. but. Yeah, well, I did that when I did this part and put it together. Made sure it was all facing the right way. And... Yeah. But, you know, you have to be sure you measure it the same on each side, and you want to try and get your jump size and your loop size even, or, you know, it can actually hang a little long on one side, and you wouldn't like that. Or short, depending on, you know, what you did. And that, those are the things that you kind of learn over time by doing. Like, you know, you learn, this works, this doesn't. So I always say, your best teacher is experienced, just go for it. Just do it. I did, thank you for the wisdom you have shared through your videos. I've learned so much over the years. Well, that's so kind of you, Jeanette. Have you been with us before? You seem new. I don't know. I'm sorry if I've missed you before, but I'm so glad you're here now talking to me. I love that. You should come join us at the creative group, shouldn't she, girls? Most of the girls <laughs> here are creative group girls. They're my ones I can always count on to show up. <laughs> no matter what. <laughs> anyway, um, so... We're really glad you showed up today, yes. too. Fantastic. <laughs> we love it. Yay. Yay, chicken's happy. Oh, happy <laughs> and her chicken. Okay, so that's, you know, pretty much how I put this one together. And like I say, it's still, to me, because of the way, I mean, I'm more, I'm one of these, not less is more, I'm more is more. <laughs> <laughs> so since I have all this going on down here, I just kind of feel like maybe it needs a little bit up here. So maybe... For Jeanette's sake, Out. we should just put some in. Yeah, you should do a this bead again. Maybe. Yeah, that's a pretty bead, isn't it? I do like that. Jeanette, bead. just for you, I'm going to put in two more sections. How's that? So I'm going to use these brass socks uh, eye pins here, and then I'm going to figure out <clears throat> how much do I need to cut out so I don't throw this off. Aw, Jeanette says the first time chatting, but have followed you for oh, a long time. Oh, I'm so time. glad. I'm so Aww. glad to meet you. Thank That's you. wonderful. So I think I'm going to want to take, this is a little longer, but don't forget we're going to loop it on the end, so that will make it shorter. So from here oh. to here, I'm going to go. Somebody asked a question. Could you please tell us where you have the creative group? Is it oh, on Facebook? Oh, yeah. In fact, yeah. You, you know what? Could you put a, a link for I'm going to do that right now. She's going to do that right now. I'm so going to do that. That's right why now. I have Javi <laughs> here, because between the two of us, we can get more done for you than one of us. That's true. Okay, so I'm going to take out from here to here, and that's going to be, huh, maybe I want to take more than that. Let me see. Let me just put this again. 
Okay, yeah, I did that wrong. Yeah. I want to take from here I'm to just here, here, just a little bit under two, till I loop these. These are two inch eye pins. So till I loop it, it'll be just about right, okay? So I'm gonna do, oh, this is I for love. you, Jeanette. This is for you. We're gonna do this section together. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start here from this little loop. I love Figaro because you can count it off real nice. Figaro and Rolo are fantastic. Bead and link chain, fantastic, because you can, you can, um, count it off. Now, you got to be real careful when you do this, especially when I have something this far along. I could wreck the whole thing if I oh, go so through you're just, the wrong place. You're just cutting the small one. I'm drum. cutting it off, yeah, so I can insert. Well, there's a couple other ones that they said that we've been inspired for a long time. Really? There's Laura, uh, I can Laura Barber. Laura Barber. Sorry, well, I don't want to say Laura, thank you for coming. And yeah, and this is Chardis. Yeah, yeah, we would love for you to join us. Yeah. Susan Chadwick's here. So glad to see you. Hi, her. Susan. Um, <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> it's at Facebook. It's called Bisa Boutique's Creative Group. And it's free to join. <clears throat> it don't doesn't cost you nothing, not a dime. Um, you can ask questions and post. For pictures, though, we ask that you please be using things from our website. Because I use them to promote not only you and your work, but I use them to promote my website and show other people what you can do. That's like the Gallery of Inspiration. All those girls in there that have stuff in there, they they um, use these products a lot. They enjoy using them. <laughs> she's oh, she just joined. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Yeah. She gets a high. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Just it just came to mind. The chickens don't remember. The chickens and I remember the Beast of Boutique's creative group. No, he isn't. I might have to create one. We're gonna have to figure that out. Okay, now we're now we're gonna figure this out for Jeanette. So we need to get hey Mary's here. Thanks for coming, Mary. So anyway, so we gotta get enough beads on here to take care of this. <clears throat> so I think I will start with this. These I love these. These are on the site too. The little bronzy caps. And um I think what I'm going to do, Javi told me I should use this. Now, I this is going to, she, oh, she just approved you too, so you're in. Because it's one of those you have to put your name in the door. Yeah. And get approved. So I'm going to put one of these in, and then I'm going to put one of my mixed impressions in there also. And you can do this any way you want. Group. It doesn't have to be the way I did it, you know, just, so. Didn't know about the group. Only knew about the YouTube channel. I'd love to get this. Oh, you know what? Yes. You know, at the group, I'm on there all the time. I'm yeah, on there. She is. I'm on there every day. And I'm, there's you know, such... I may not be on all day, but I I come at least a couple three but times. It's a day. just beautiful inspirations of a uh, you know people yeah, making and all lately, these wonderful oh stuff. Oh my goodness! I still need to post some stuff. Yeah, you do. I do my little shorts, but yeah. that doesn't. <laughs> she 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 makes the short videos. You'll see them on the like YouTube a thirty channel. second video. Yeah, the short ones. But people like those two. That's true. But anyway, so this should be about two inches. But let's see. No, this is only a little bit over an inch. But you know what? That'll be okay. Because what did I say? I wish it was a little shorter. Hi, Javi. Just got out of the show and turned on the phone. Hey, how about that? That works. <laughs> All right. So a little shorter in this case is going to be okay because I just got done saying I wish it yeah. was a little shorter. So this will do it. I'm going to shorten it up on each side. It'll be an inch on each side, two inches. That's about right. Yeah. That's about just perfect. Okay, so now I'm going to bend this over. And I I wasn't wrapping these. <clears throat> I, I would rather have a little bit more than this on the end to wrap it. Okay, so yeah. I'm just folding it over and then I'm crossing it. And what I mean by that is, where's my point here? You might have to bring it in the frame. Too. There yeah, you go. that would help, wouldn't it? Can you get yeah, a little zoom bigger? In. Okay. Do you see how I cross it over there? I'm going to tell you why. And here is why. First, I'm going to straighten that up a little bit. Straighten up. And then I'm going to get down in here and I'm going to clip it. Oh, I see what you're doing. So that is just about perfect. Without wrapping it, you know, just okay. So yeah. that loop, just see how tight that is. It's right up on there. I just need yep. to, I just need to straighten it a little bit, okay? 
Flip out of me. Okay, so I'm good. I'm golden. Oh, all right, so now here's all I gotta do on this side. How that song's been. Is I need to. You know what? Let me make the other one first. Let me just go ahead and make. Yeah, the that's other what one. I was thinking. Sometimes don't don't put in there. Just make your parts make, first. Yeah, make the part make first the part so they can first, match yeah. evenly. <laughs> it's like earrings. <laughs> yeah. Hobby's a pretty good little jewelry maker too. Me? Yeah, you. Oh, I am. Yeah, you are. You know you are. Right? <laughs> Hobby's my that. niece. In case any of you don't know that. Yeah. Most of you do. Huh? Maybe everybody. And Chicken is my friend. And the chickens. <laughs> she found that thing down in the workshop. I'm up in my office today, but she found that down in the workshop. I made it. Because I like goofy stuff, and I have stuff down like that down there. She said, oh, chicken, I can do something with this. So then she was making him squawk all over the place. <laughs> Some people were getting a little put out because it was annoying. But I just don't make him squawk anymore no, because no, people are like, him, oh, their animals are going crazy. Anymore. So I put it on the same thing, same thing exactly there on my box. <laughs> oh, I'm going to show you my box. Let me show you my box. This oh, is yeah. my box in this earthy boho color family. Boho color so, box. <laughs> and a lot of these were in the November inspiration box, which was dark colors. Now in the December, it's going to be all silver and crystal and frost and... Like that. It's going to be like a completely different look. But this one was the earthy one. And the cool thing about those boxes, as you know, everything you need to get started doing stuff is in there. My friend, my friend um, Ginger, she said, what I like about it is you could take the box and a pair of pliers and go camping or whatever, and everything you need is there. You can start making stuff. <clears throat> Have fun. Debbie said, Team said, Chicken. <laughs> I didn't know you had Team Chicken. You're funny. I, you know, that'd be a good, hey, that'd be a good T-shirt. Team, team chicken. chicken, yeah. That's yeah, not a bad idea. Yeah. I'll write this down. <laughs> I didn't know you had an Etsy shop. I feel like I've been sleeping the whole time and buying supplies from Etsy shop. Just favored your store. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Now, if you like Etsy, you do know I have a big shop, too. Big we have site. a big standalone website. There's about 8,000 things on there. And, Don't you know, I supplies. sometimes <laughs> think people like to go to our Etsy more because... There's only maybe 500 on there. <laughs> they can find it faster. But maybe. if you take time on the site, you're going to find we have a lot of beautiful things. We really do. Yeah, we have a lot of beads. And, and, <laughs> and I buy nice things, too. So, And there are sales. In fact, there's a big, fat sale going on. Yeah. That's the most beautiful box I've seen. Aww. You know, I thought, boy, wouldn't it be fun to make those up and sell them? But they cost so much, it would be <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah, I was, I was thinking about it, you know. Oh, would it, yeah, the shipping would be bad. Of course, we pay that over 50 And You could probably get one of those boxes somewhere at some sort Well, store. Mel gave me that. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. He said, sense. buy some from me, and I'll send you some, as many as you want. I said, oh, just send me five. Duh. So now it says, <laughs> oh, for beautiful beads. Yeah, we have beautiful beads. We got it. We didn't used everything. to do so many beads, but I do lots of beads now. Yeah, a lot of beads. And that's and there's a big out. reason for that. It says, I was always known for having brass. Oh, yeah, we got a lot of brass. And we have a lot of brass, too. <laughs> and pewter. Brass stamping. Some pewter. We have the 1928 pewter, and we have the cast zinc. It's one of a kind. <laughs> and we have a little bit of Tierra cast pewter, too, which is also U.S. made. I cut this, too. See, we try to get more U.S. made stuff. Yeah. But a lot of sites and don't check. have that. I love check. Yeah, me too. I can't have too much check. Okay. I did this a little bit funky and weird, but it still works. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I see what you're saying. So, it's all good. It's all good. Basically, if you can cross it a little bit and then get in there and right where it I crosses, see. you know, nip it off. That's that's the best. If you're not gonna, if you're not going to, um, you know, wrap it. You know what? You know what would be cool? What? I can't probably do <clears throat> a big box of beads like this, but maybe I could do a jar. We do bead mixes at the site. Oh, you mean a jar? A jar of beads. You I have could, to think about that. Be, that might not be much different still than our bead mixes. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Unless mm. it's, in, it's just in a jar. You know, <laughs> we have, at the website, we have bead mixes. And you know what? I just got a bunch of uh, beads yesterday and today from Mel. And for those of you who don't know, Mel is Mr. Bernie from 1928 Jewelry Company that I work with sometimes when we can stand each other. <laughs> We have a love-hate thing going on, I think. We never do. <laughs> but, uh, nah, he's great. He's like, a, he's like a brother to me, but... 
I have to be Brenda Sue too. I can't be all 1928. So now I'm going to hook this into here. But he has stuff from manufacturing for over 53 years now. And uh, different times he'll offer it to me and then I share it with you guys. So I got these and I got a whole mess. These are acrylic, but they're still really cool. I got a whole mess of faux turquoise yesterday. He sent me really, mm. they would have been expensive. Not all, you know, not all the acrylic is cheap. I'll tell you that right now. Not all of it is. That's true. So now I see, um, is it Jeanette, was it? Yeah, Jeanette. I'm hooking that in here like on this side. Those new cameos you have um, with that frosted look and then the pattern you on top like of this? it. You mean like this? Yeah, but it was the one with black and oh, white. Oh, yeah. Those, those came those from cameos? that came, those came from a vintage warehouse. Those are nice. Yeah. And those are called Bohemica or something. They're actually not. I don't, know what they're called. I don't think they're vintage. Oh. Uh, the house, oh, the house is <laughs> got a lot of vintage. Okay, so let's, let's see. Down. Where do I start Just here? Down. So I want to go from here to here. So I'm going to start here Sorry about and that. go to here. I'm going to take all this up. And that should be right. So, And you can always measure it, too, instead of eyeball it and using <laughs> your fingers like I do. So we got some new members today. Yeah. You know, we don't need too many members to get to... Um, 6,000. She said, I'm checking your website and I love the vintage glass cameras. They are so beautiful. Yeah, we do oh, have man, some I love those glass cameras. We have, a lot of those came from 1928, too. They used them in their jewelry a lot. The glass? Vintage some glass of them, cameras? Some of them, yeah. Okay, I did a dumb uh, thing, yeah, guys. Right. What, what did you do? Did you cut too much? I think I did. So no, what am I going to do? Wait, I this? thought it looks great. No, I think it's going to be okay. Do you have too much chain here? It looks... Yeah, yeah, but see what I'm looking at is here, up here. I've only got two loops of Figaro, and I've got three loops of Figaro here. Oh. Yeah. That's very odd. Well, you know why I did it? Here's why. This is how this happened. I'm confused. I didn't factor in the length of this little swivel lobster. And so I pulled oh. it up straight like that, and and so I ended up. See, this isn't closing right. I can't stand it. Gotta be closed right. So that's so. where I'm going. So I'm gonna have to compensate somehow. So let me just see what I can do, because I think that it should be the same, not different. That's what I was saying. Aww. So we'll see. Looks better I'm... already, Cindy said. <laughs> she says it looks better already. Bless your heart, Cindy. Cindy's been hanging around me a long time. Yeah. I don't know if she can stand it, but she does. <laughs> yeah, she's a wonderful I've got person. to spend <laughs> some very pleasant time with Cindy over the years when we when we used to have the May workshop here in Columbia yeah. before the pandemic. Cindy used to come practically all the time. Cindy, we have a fun my funniest picture of Cindy. I gotta get this here before I do something dumb and ruin it. Um, Cindy is legally blind. That's what's so amazing. I, I tell people this all the time, Cindy, because I'm just so proud of you, I can't tell you. You want to talk about somebody who never gives up. Cindy's legally blind, and she makes some of the most beautiful jewelry you ever saw. And she doesn't do simple. She's really a great polymer clay artist. She doesn't do simple. So, you know, she's amazing. So she would come out to the... She would get on a plane, and she would come all the way out to Ohio from Oregon to see us, and um, we had so much fun. One time she even taught a little class. Yeah. She taught us how to make fake turquoise with polymer clay and dirt. <laughs> 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 polymer clay and dirt. Yeah, we need to get one of Cindy's uh, Peterson's uh, pieces and maybe put it for the Gallery of Inspiration. Yeah, we didn't find one of Cindy's yet. Oh, oh man. man. There's a lot of people. There I know. are a lot of people. We started out with... We got maybe 16 in there, but yeah, we definitely got to go looking it's for Cindy's. Nice. So I'm going to hook this into here, and I'm hoping I didn't screw up. Oh, oh sure. Jeanette says, I do this all the time. I'm glad you made the mistake because I'm learning how to fix my... <laughs> That's, you know what, you, you found my claim to fame, Jeanette, is making mistakes and letting people see them. I never worry if I goof something up because I'll say, okay, now this could happen to you, not just me. 
So let's see what we can do to fix it. So how many do I have here? <laughs> one, two, three, four. There's only one, two, three here. So I need one, two, three. Okay, so I gotta cut it here. <laughs> Jeanette's like, what? Who is that lady? I want to know her too. She's in the creative group. You just have to type in Cindy Peterson. Oh yeah, <laughs> Cindy's in there. Cindy's in there. That's an easy name to say. My name's too complicated. A few years we had Christy <laughs> Freeze and come. Christy's a friend of mine. And she's a friend of a lot of people. She's a friend of Cindy's too. Oh. <clears throat> Um, I don't anymore because I can handle the class on myself. Well, we haven't been able to have it for the last little while anyway because of, you know, COVID. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> I don't know when we'll be able to I don't know how to again. say her name, but... Um, oh, Ilyanka? Ilyanka. I love the organic stone combined with the form... For Formal design and how it all ties into V's. Thank you. And Cindy says, I'm still making that. <laughs> oh, she's, well, you mean the, 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 tur the, the turquoise polymer clay with dirt in it? Makes dirt, like, makes it like turquoise stone. And I think what you can do is after you bake it, you can, like, um, shine it up. Yeah. Or you can tumble the beads. Yeah, that makes You can tumble. Yeah. Cindy bought me a tumbler. <laughs> Cindy bought me a tumbler along with, I think it was Mary or somebody. She bought me a tumbler and Cindy out here one day. And you can throw your polymer be beads in there and it'll tumble them and make them like slick and pretty, like like real stones. I think so. Is that right, Cindy? She says I'll send a picture if you need. <laughs> Cindy teaches out at her boutique. That's true. So you have to go see Cindy in Oregon. <laughs> we have some polymer clay on, on the group. Um... I love polymer clay, but I can't sell it, so I don't teach it. Cindy's way better than me anyway, so it'd be embarrassing now. I used to be okay at it. Hobby's good at it. Yeah, um, okay. <laughs> we have epoxy sculpt now. That's, oh, yeah. We I'm, should in, I'm into epoxy sculpt. I love epoxy sculpt. Because you can do mosaic in it. <clears throat> but, um, and we have a lot of videos up on that. That's true. If you go way, way, way back, like eight or nine years in my videos, you'll find polymer clay videos. I used to make a lot of beads. Awesome thing. But anyway, Cindy, she does canes and all kinds of stuff. But yeah, she teaches. She here, here comes a little kitty. I knew she was coming. She opened um, the door. She teaches um, in her shop, her Crystal Boutique. I think it's Crystal Boutique, isn't it, Cindy? Out there in Oregon. So I'm sure if you showed up for one of her classes, she'd have you sit up to the table and work with her. <laughs> They used to love to be speak a different language. You are so right. Hey, that we should put that on a t-shirt too. What is it? What is it? <laughs> she, said, she said, "Ladies who love to be speak a different language." That's true. You were inspired to try polymer clay because of those of me. Those old videos, really. <laughs> you know what? I've been doing polymer clay for at least since I started, like thirty-two years ago. I love this stuff. Back in the old FEMO days, where it took you oh, half yeah. an hour to condition <laughs> a buck of clay. That was horrible. Those were horrible. Your hands be so sore, I'm telling you. I, I think I did one of but those. But I always loved it. It's good for round ears. Beads make them smooth. Okay. Uh, so, anyway, you know, I mean, I, I jumped in with both feet, and I started making stuff, mostly beads. You know, from the beginning, I loved it. But it was never, like, my primary thing. Mostly, I think, because FEMA was so hard to condition back then. I'm like, yeah. I don't want to spend time doing this all day. So that's when I started doing resin and assemblage and button jewelry and stuff like that. And that's kind of where I landed. But it's all the form of assemblage, you know. And that's what I am as assemblage I think artist. That's where I doing beads is a form of assemblage. You know, I had to yeah. position it. For, so here I've got the whole thing. Let me pull this back so you can see the whole The whole thing. thing. Okay, did I get it for you, Jeanette? Did that help? Did I, <laughs> did I do it for you? What do you guys think? Do you think we need to put another one here? Like just one piece? Here? And here? Aww. It'll lengthen it again, though. This is necklace is beautiful. I mean... Millie Fiori necklace that you made on your site is stunning. I have a Millie Fiori necklace on my site? No. It's on your Etsy store. 
Oh, yeah. There's a great big, uh, there's a big Millie Fiore and gingerbread necklace on my Etsy store. Maybe that's what. That was something we did at the, the workshop. We did kitchen sink, kitchen sink necklaces, and that was the one I made. That's true. So, anyway, I kind of feel like, guys, when I look at this, like I want to put a little bead of something in here. But if I do that, I can't take enough out, I don't think. <laughs> so I'll end up throwing it all off. Debbie said no. <laughs> she said no? Okay, Debbie says no. Pretty as is. Woohoo, leave it alone then. Okay. I would have left it alone too. Okay. A little so pretty now, just as yeah, it is. I mean, you guys can't really see it like this. So. It hangs really nice. Yeah, it does. And it has a really cool feel. It's got some heft to it. My passion is jewelry, polymer, and teaching. I just finished teaching special needs. Can love making polymer and adding to a mix media look with Bisu products. Yes, she does. Yep. She absolutely does. It's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, Cindy she says she loves <laughs> teaching. I wish I could say the same. What? I love I love you guys. You don't love teaching? Well, no, nobody ever loves No, it. I don't because I don't feel very secure about it. Oh, I need to do it. Even, even after, I don't know, like <laughs> over 300 videos, I just... It's true. It's kind of, I, I, I don't know. You do way know. better than I, me. I know. I can't get in front of camera. I'm like, Sometimes I think I'm sick. losing everybody in it and losing my head at the same time. I don't know. But I feel it like gets it. harder the older I get, being honest with you. But uh. I do love making jewelry. I do love sharing. I do love sharing the things I find. Oh, Mary. Mary has so, a question. So good. What length well, is it? Nice Let's measure it again to see how I came out in the long run. Yeah, that's what I was saying. <laughs> But I gotta teach because if I don't, everybody will say, "Where did she go? Did she die or something?" Because I'm always no, no, here. she didn't die. She's still here. <laughs> yeah, not yet. She anymore. will always still be. Here. No, no, no. Since my passion is collecting beads, I intend to make things with. Oh well, yeah, I, I think a lot of people like that. <laughs> I think that's that's me. one of the th reasons why I started carrying more beads because I love you can too. never have too many beads. And there's always something new, especially like with check beads, because most places will only make a certain type of bead for a very short amount of time. And then you can't get it anymore for love nor money unless you find somebody that sees that's stitching <laughs> some. You know, so that makes it a little bit hard. Okay, Mary O'Toole, this is down the side. It is now eight and a half inches. It was nine, but we took a little bit out, remember? Oh. And then this going across is... Just shy of three. Three. Eight and a half, eight and a half is 17 and three, 20 inches. Oh, okay. 20 inches around the neck. And then we have a draw. Did you have this drop first, which is two inches. And then this going across is just shy of two. And then this drop is just about an inch and a quarter. So, it's 20 inches around the neck, all told, with this part. And then it's got two inch drop, two inch across, and about an inch and a quarter there. So, thank you, Rose. Better, best teachers are ones who do it begrudgingly, really. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> begrudgingly. I don't... I hope I don't do it begrudgingly. I just don't think I... It's getting hard for me to come up with this stuff, guys, to be honest. So I'm glad the Javi's here because between the two of us, we come up with That's an true. idea. And it can't be anything too hard because I don't do, I don't do hard. I just want to do stuff with resin. About the hard, yeah, she likes resin now. And wire. Wow, well, yeah. For me... The hardest thing I've ever done is Haskell style beading, and, and that's not really hard. It's just fussy. It's not, yeah, it's, it's fussy, you know. I hope to do a class on that before too long. So what did she say? That's so true. I want more beads. I can never have enough. I start out with one drawer and a dresser, and now I have a room full of beads and want more. <laughs> well, good. You've come to the right place. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We have discounts for that too. <laughs> yeah, we have. We have big. <laughs> we got big discounts because it's Black Friday. In our That's place true. Already. Let's see what mixed up Margie said. So cool. I Thank know, you, right? Margie. Hi, Thank Margie. You. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. A Black Friday started yesterday for us, 
And now we have uh, three codes. Well, I put it automatically. Oh, yeah, she's trying this. If you do $50, the code was new 50. But I guess now the way she's got, I hope it works. She says it does. She checked it, it out. It goes automatically. If you get, like at Etsy, you know how the, the codes are. You don't have to put a code in at Etsy. It just, you hit the numbers and you get it, you know. So she wanted to try doing something like that on her website, and the website would let her. So we're just trying. I don't know if we're going to keep it or not, but we got it now for, for Black Friday. And all you have to do is if you hit 50, you get 15% off. If you hit 75, you get 20% off. If you hit 100, you get 25% off. Now, Javi, what would happen if they enter the coupon, too? Excuse because we can't do I don't think you can enter that coupon. It just automatically takes it. Out. Does it? Yeah. Okay. So if you just okay. add a bunch of stuff. Yeah, because we can't do double that. I wish I could, but I can't. Anyway, hey, Natalie. Hope I didn't miss a boat. No, no, no. You didn't <laughs> miss it. You're not too late. Oh, no. We're all bead lovers here. I love beads. Oh, my goodness. I love beads. Still waiting for my Haskell pearls. But I keep saying, when are they coming? It takes time. They have to make them. So we'll be getting on eventually. But anyway, that was my idea for today with the double hanging, you know. You could go from here and hang down, or you could go from here and hang a little piece of chain in there, too. Right right through, here you my pointer again. Right through this jump. You could do that. I've done that before, too. I know I've got necklaces right over here, but I can't, I can't reach them without leaving you. So anyway... I'll try to take a picture and show you. I have a whole bedroom as my studio. Yeah, that's my whole house. <laughs> <laughs> this was a bedroom at first. This is a big bedroom. So I have my offices in here. And I got a great big wire shelf with all kinds of stuff on it. I have a sleeper sofa. I have a big TV. Yeah. <laughs> my filing cabinets. I have my exercise bike. Everything's up here. And then I have a big workshop in the basement. And if you look at some of the videos, you'll see that's where we are. It's down there. Yeah, it goes automatically for each level you hit. You hit 50, you get that percentage off. Hit 75, you get that percentage off. It just goes automatically. So the coupon box is there or not there? It's, it's there, but it, it automatically does that for them. So they don't have to remember a coupon. No, they don't. But I'm just saying, what if somebody didn't know about the coupon thing and they went and entered new 50 it won't work it'll just, then it won't it'll work. just they'll it'll, just give them the 15 yeah it still gives so you so get that okay because i don't want it messing up for them or me so anyway yeah you have any questions so if you have 50 you get 15 <laughs> off if you have 75 you get 20 off if you have 100 100 you get 25 off which is like the biggest discount i can ever do yeah and because we try to keep things tight it's been hard though because the cost of check anything has gone way up That's and true. all u.s metal has gone way up way way up brass went up 15 percent. no kidding you think you might think oh that's not that much oh yes it is when you put plating on top of it i've got no choice but to raise the price but at least if i give you a little discount it helps so that's true that helps you out a little bit and you have free shipping too when you still have 50 dollars in your cart when you check out you know like after your coupon use then you get free shipping so that's kind of cool too but if you just if you just do fifty and you have the coupon on, you won't have fifty according to the card. So you have to go up a little bit. And then you get free shipping too. So I moved from an apartment to a three bedroom recently. I have the third bedroom as my studio, but I feel like even if I have an entire house, not enough. Yeah, I know. I hear you. I got stuff all over the ki the living room table. I use my kitchen table. We had a nice. Um, insulated in uh it used to be a breezeway on this house but it's not anymore it's all built in and that's their office out there and then there's an attached one car garage it's right out the door from that and it's kind of big and since we just sell little parts it's plenty of room, so we have big stacks of drawers and everything you got shipping dust and that's where they do the shipping and they get to stay nice and toasty warm in the winter we have a big uh heater for them out there one of those garage heaters that mechanics have and then we have an air conditioner in the summer, so they're all comfy out there. So 
inflation affecting us all. Well, thank you that you want to support small business. I mean, right now, because I don't have a lot of vintage grass left, so I'm having to buy it new. So it's more, but we have, we have finishes on our, our brass that are custom finishes, and they're kind of spendy too. But I, I just feel like I don't want to sell, sell junk. You know, it's, I want to sell you wonderful, expensive stuff for as cheap as I can. You know, that's what I want to do. So anyway, let's see. <laughs> Michelle Spiegel case just ended up here thanks to a one-year-old. I'll watch from the beginning later. <laughs> what did he do? Did he go over, did and, he did he go over and click on it or something? I found it. It's <laughs> pretty funny. You guys ever watched that little boy? What was his name? Roman, and he baked. He would bake. Oh cakes. yeah, he made I that pizza. I wonder what happened. I wonder what happened. I better look at He up. must have grown up to be a big boy now. He was I like to, two on the I used to videos. love him. He was so cute. I couldn't stand it. Okay, does anybody have any more questions for me? Questions. Anything about the coupons, if you guys don't understand. What is the website? Where do we shop? Oh, bsuboutiques.com. I'm going to put that going to go run over to the big <laughs> computer, and she's going she's gonna to put it in for you so you can find it. Yeah, bsuboutiques.com. B-S-U-E-B-O-U-T-I-Q-U-E-S. I already put it up there. She <laughs> put it on for you. You'll see it. There it is. Right there. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. I don't know why the default thing is. And just, just ignore that. And just ignore that. You, know, you could just click on it. It'll, it'll if you click on it, it'll take you there, and you're going to love it because Javi is my website designer. <laughs> and she does a beautiful, beautiful job. She does video. She produces video. She does all our website design, fixes all our issues, and she loads products too. I mean, just everything. She does a gorgeous. She, you need to go look at it just to see how blame pretty it is. She's just got it so pretty. And now, at Peace Boutiques, you can shop by color. A lot of people yeah. said, that's so cool for designing. Say, I want stuff all in blue. I can click on that and I can see everything you got in blue. Or if I want silver, I can see everything you got in silver. So she keeps. It does help it. with people. So when drop a link to the Etsy shop. I already did. Oh, did you? Bam, right there. There it is. I'm fast. She did. <laughs> Thank you, Jeanette. Thank you, you too. You have a good time with your friends and family. I'm going to take off for today, today guys. I'm getting yeah. a little bit hoarse for some reason. I, I think it's just because I'm getting off. But anyway, Chicken wants to say goodbye. I'll make him a profile too. He's a chicken. I always, say, I always make a point of saying, you know, how he is 31. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but she's a child at heart, and that's okay. Cute chicken. So we love you all. Thank you, Mixed Up Margie, for coming. We had a bunch of new ones yeah, today. Yeah, we was, did. This we is, didn't have tons of delightful. people, but we had a lot so of happy. new ones. I'm just thrilled. Me too. Nerves. I'm like, oh. It's like the old days at, at, at so we YouTube. Because we used to get a lot of new people at YouTube and not many more. I mean, it seems like they're going it's very, else. It's, it's been struggled hard on YouTube because it's there's a they lot, change the algorithm a lot. They change it a lot, and then there's just a lot of people doing this now. Yeah, that's true. You know, some get of them are good, some of them are and plus two, I don't know that our design style is everybody's design style. Well, you know, a lot yeah, of people want to see right. real simple stuff with leather and a couple of beads. With, or they want to see the fancy wire <laughs> wrap. Or they want to see the fancy stitching with the beads, you know, with the check <laughs> mates and that. But that's not what I do. I thought maybe I should learn that. I thought, I can't. Aww. I'm too old. <laughs> so glad I'm, I come. I'm so glad I got to meet you, too. Thank you, thank you all. Thanks, Cindy, for popping in and adding your two cents. I can always <laughs> count you on you for that, and I love you for it. So, yeah. oh, and someone said thanks to the chicken. How about <laughs> that? All right, you come back next. To, she needs a hobby. Everybody, everybody needs a hobby, but don't let her hear you because then she get a big head. So anyway, no. <laughs> anyway, 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 thanks for coming. Javi will be back at six o'clock on Friday. Friday. Okay, but it's and a that will not video, be not live. live. You won't be able to talk to live. You can make comments. You can call yeah, me. She say, Hi. We answer everybody. You know, uh, since so we have that, and then I answer you, Brendan. <laughs> next Friday, not this Friday. The one after is when we introduce the December box. You don't want to miss that. Do yeah. not want to miss that. And don't forget to subscribe, please, guys. Oh yes, please subscribe, subscribe to my channel and hit so you don't forget where I am. Yeah, and uh, so you can get and more hit videos. Hit the little like us. if you like <laughs> us because you know what? Some people say, "Oh, I don't want to hit the like for these people monetize their videos," which I do because <laughs> Google shows them more if you do that. Just have to subscribe. So I mean, that's, it doesn't do anything bell. for us except it shows other notified. people <laughs> that hey, this might be good because there's so there's so many likes. 
So that's why we need likes, because then mm -hmm. other people will notice and they'll stop and check us out. That's yeah. why we need likes. Okay, guys, too. thank you very much. You're <laughs> wonderful. Love you all. Love this you. was great. I think this was... Can you put more for it? Yeah, I'll do my best here. I'll get some, okay? I'll get some just for you. How about that? All right. Yeah, we'll we'll take, take care, everyone. Bye, Susan. Bye. And you take care. Oh, get over now.